Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. Just need more people to realize that and spread the word uh, more. But um, well, slowly, but it's it's getting there, I guess. I see. I see. By the way, that uh, that Grelf and H. Joe now also joined. And Milan, you're unmuting, so that's raising yeah. your hand. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just saying. I was, you know, I was. I'm. 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 Um, how do you say that? I'm. Um, I agree with what Sam says. I mean, there's so many cool stuff you can build. Um, you know, and 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 and. Um, you know, I, I think often people. You know, I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a personally i'm not a big fan of smart contracts because they you know it's it's just something uh of course it's it's in the um, it's evm um it's uh solidity it's a different language it's you know it's it's often people come in and say okay oh, let me just deploy a smart contract and it's a little bit more complicated than that and then i think well but look at all the other awesome stuff stuff you can do in Adera. I mean, you've got native, you got a native service that allows you to mint tokens and NFTs. You now you can create allowances. Obviously, you know, there, obviously there is a risk with allowances, but you just need to know that. But um, there's so many cool things. I mean, your royalties, and, and I bet, Sam, that you, that you also tried to resolve an issue at some point, or maybe you didn't that you thought what's going on why can i pay with this with this acs token um but then it just appeared that the royalty account wasn't associated to that token you know i know i had that problem when i when i did with um <laughs> when we experimented that with with go mint um uh i think it was about one year and a half ago um we experimented with that and i was like oh why doesn't it work and then you know after a few days you realize oh yeah the treasury account the royalty account isn't associated with that ics token but there's you know there's so many awesome things that um um you know that that you can build just using the the native services um there's no end to it you know and i'm literally i i think right now my most limited resource is really time and i think everybody's issue is that is is that over here um and and that's a biggest challenge but yeah as i said sam probably um <laughs> probably you had the same thing with the, the royalties and that account not being associated milan you you spoke about uh, smart contracts and sam is not a fan either we don't use smart contracts at centex so uh this is something that um is building natively on um on the header network without to use our smart contracts and it's also safer from um our belief and understanding so that's why we don't do it and joe go ahead <laughs> i was just wondering what i missed what's going on in here i uh, oh, nothing sorry sorry i wasn't here from the beginning we've been traveling from georgia to florida for a wedding today so i'm Glad I was able to get settled in and catch up with everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank does, you. Does Good anyone for all that you've done. <laughs> does anyone want to say, Joe, that uh, Earthlings now has a marketplace inside of Santex? <laughs> no, no, let it wake up. Let it wake hey, up Joe. on the news. That, that will be fun. Yes, and it's pinned on top. Joe, twice. so, so uh, basically we have, a, we have a marketplace. And... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot express my appreciation for all the work that you all have put in and everything that you've done to make this happen. It is beyond my wildest dreams and I really appreciate it and I can't wait for what um, the future has for Syntax. It's, it's going to be amazing. It, it sure is. One thing that we uh, were telling everyone, uh, besides the fact that um, Earthlings now has a marketplace, is that um, in, in a few days, um, 
SaaS will have a, a marketplace as well where um, all users will be able to trade uh, in SaaS. And then we are going to add more HTSs as well. So um, there's going to be more things added to the platform later. And several HTSs will have their own marketplace where all users will be able to um, trade their NFTs for any HTS that the, the owner of the, the collection allowed uh, the HTS to be, to be used for. So it's going to be really exciting. And we believe that we are going to see a lot more um, of HTS is being utilized because of this. And this is, is going to bring more uh, transactions to the Hedero network as well. And uh, the sky is the limit, basically. I do not know what's more bullish than that. The the news just keeps getting better and better and better for Hedera. It's awesome. Well, what, are, what are some of these other HTS tokens that you guys are integrating? Okay, so I, I think, I, I know, Ralph, that uh, you have a guy that tells you what to do and sends you messages. I believe that the guy forgot to send you a message because we received a message from that guy. It was on Sam's doorstep saying that Ralph was going to be an HTS to be included uh, on the marketplace. So I'm really sorry if the guy forgot to send you a message because we got that note. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that weird cloak guy, he only sends me messages via little strips of paper tied to arrows that he fires into my door. Um, and I haven't ch I haven't checked my door for any arrows today, so I must have missed it. That's, a, that's amazing. That's incredible. It, it is amazing. We are super excited. And I have to say that um, for Sam, the guy was a bit nicer. It was not an arrow at his door. His door is intact, so he's luckier than you. So in Sam's case, it was a little note on his doorstep. So yeah, <laughs> his, his door is still intact. <laughs> well, thank goodness for him. I wish I could get some of that all-star treatment. You, you need to build a marketplace. Maybe the guy will be nicer to you instead of sending hours to your door. <laughs> we can only hope. We can only hope. But I thank you guys so much for integrating a little old bald me. What an honor. Absolutely. We are really excited. Uh, Grelf is going to be live um, at Santex with its own marketplace in two weeks uh, more or less maybe a bit less than two weeks it's going to depend on our workflow and you guys are going to be the first we started with um, earthlings and ph team then it's going to be sauce uh, graph and syntax are going to to be live uh, at the same time so we are going to have this uh, this hts is available to start with and then other projects that have hts we are going to maybe create a form for projects to be able to apply um, and we will analyze case by case but you guys are of course definitely uh, uh choices that were not hard to make so joey we've got to fill the form you need to sign it joey uh oh joey i will give the i'll give the go ahead I, I can't fill it out on my uh, phone oh joey 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 that is too bad, guys. Maybe shoot an arrow on the door for the next message. I, I would it like certainly to... gets my attention. <laughs> I would like to uh, give a proper welcome to our, our colleague uh, on stage, uh, Solo Gang. What's up, brother? How are you doing, brother? Sorry I'm late. Uh, I was just caught up. I've had hell of a day today. Uh, super excited about this news. Uh, as I've been... Uh, just just for the context, I had uh, I went in for a root canal today and ended up losing a tooth uh, because it was cracked. So it's been quite a day today. But uh, yeah, anyways, Centex, Earthlings, this is massive. You know, uh, just with the HTS uh, scene popping uh, and all this talk about uh, proper utilization, being ready for that next bull market where our ecosystem just has so many fun use cases and utilities and things to do. Uh, yeah, super excited. Uh, what an initiative. And, you know, Earthlings been doing in the middle of a bear market. They lit it on fire. They did uh, backpack airdrops. Uh, it was so much needed. I, I'll never forget that. That was one of the best timed 
life, uh, you know, that our ecosystem needed. And uh, yeah, shout out hats off to them. And uh, they've been always uh, just doing it right. Perfect. Wow, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, for that. Uh, we we could only do that because we have such a diverse, amazing team, and uh, of course, uh, the the partners in the uh, in the space that that support us as well. And we have an amazing community. I see some here in the in the um, uh, space as well. Uh, Austin, baby, you are. Uh, oh, and Stephen, who has our our um, boar again as his uh, profile picture. Uh, I need to scroll down, but it's a bit hard on my on my. Um, uh, PC. Uh, no, Mac. Ooh. <laughs> Don't let a Mac user say the word PC. But um, yeah, no, it, it's 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 because of the community and, and the help that we get from the ecosystem and, and our, the great team that we have. It's it's something we do together. And now again, things like this where uh, Patricia and her team, Sandex, uh, are now doing these things for us. That, 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 that's amazing. So Man, I feel like I'm sharing with too much of love. So, some uh, Gralf, help me out here. Do some some fud here. You you want fud? Yeah, it's, it's, it's 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 almost becoming uh, all you need to love show. So that's not. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, where do I start? Let me get the list. No, 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 no. Just joking. Can someone mute him, please? <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. Fine. I'll I'll switch the flowers off to Sam. Uh, I I gotta I gotta I gotta do this, and I know this is again too many flowers. But Sam, I I, I don't know, man. If if everybody is just not singing it or writes a song, community song for you, and sing the kumbaya for you, uh, you have done this. Uh, whole ecosystem so proud through the bear market when Zeus was going down, when the times looked dark, regardless that you were making thirty five dollars uh, from, uh, you know, we had thirty five thousand H bar sale on certain days of volume. So true. Um, you, so true. Yeah. And you just pushed along. You didn't one day say, hey, you know what is I'm not this is not worth my 18 hours a day like while maintaining a real life job and a family uh children and pushing along basically for nothing uh, and now to do something epic with earthlings and kind of lead be the trailblazer lead the way and uh it's just epic man sam i i i, I don't know where we would all be if uh if you wouldn't have stepped in and up to your game when it was truly needed. So all the flowers to you. Absolutely. I would go the bomb sound, but I can't find it on desktop. So it's going to be. <laughs> Thank you, Solo. Really appreciate it. You know, I hate flowers, but I'll I'll take them. Um, yeah, you know, I just I just love what I do. I mean, it's it's not about uh, you know, it's not about making H bars or anything. I just love what I do. It doesn't matter if we're making like you said 10 h bar a month or, or or a million doesn't matter you know uh we just love to build and that's what we do and especially you know what i the best uh the best reward for me is just to see people using the tools that i've built um just to see people selling trading listing on on the on the on the marketplace and, and that what really makes me happy I can't imagine standing in your shoes because um, if if I were a programmer, I would be so stressed having to do all these things, all these, well, everything needs to come together and then you have a bug and everything, everyone is bugging you. Well, what's going wrong? And the, the, the Batmobile is calling you for a red line and I, I would not want to be a programmer. I think it's Patrick. like, yes. Patrick, I have to stop you. Sam yes. is amazing, and so are you. I'm going to sing your praises as well, because, yes, you're not a programmer, but what you do for the game build is... Joe, we are losing you a bit. At least I am. Uh, are yes, you guys losing Joe as well? Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm in a remote area. That's okay. Ahead, That's Joe. okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so I was, I was just saying it, it takes all kinds and, and what Sam's done is amazing. 
And Patrick, you are too. Yeah, yeah, we can't program, but what you put out is great. And it it takes everybody's efforts to, to put things like this together. And I don't know of an ecosystem that works so well together as a whole and has the same goal in mind for everybody. You see, Patricia, that's why he's in my team. <laughs> exactly. And, and Patrick... <laughs> I, I'm also going to tell you something. I, I don't think that um, the biggest stress factor factor for Sam is building tools or uh, having to deal with issues when they when they uh, happen. The biggest stress factor for Sam is my nagging. So Absolutely. <laughs> he's saying, "Yeah, there you go." <laughs> no, you know, you know, uh, what, the the one thing I'll say is it was a big it was a big decision. Uh, or, or a, I shouldn't say big, a bold decision Sam took during the beer because I remember we had a one team discussion where it was discussed how creators or projects kind of disappear during the bear market and claim, oh, we're, we're working in silence or we're working behind the scenes. And Sam had taken a very bold decision, which obviously everything has pros and cons, but the decision he had taken was build it live. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, more often than uh, testing it uh, multiple times, we're kind of testing with the community what we realized was or what he realized was uh, we're a small community enough that we're we're enough for a focus group, and uh, if we build along with everybody involved in it, it'll be it'll come out a better product. And I know a lot of people had to suffer, and one of the people who would always help us, I gotta shout out the ruler. He's always pointing out everything that's not working uh, uh, on Centex, and it's very uh, alongside everybody else, um, but. Um, it was it, it it's not an easy decision because your reputation could be uh, tarnished because some people just might not get it what I saying building it live or building it in the open um, but that I, I think that was one of the best things you could do during the bear because people could actually see work being done they could be part of the journey they could give live feedback and really get the product to exactly what the the community or the users need so that was a good decision and i think that's part of uh that's a major key to syntax success or growth until now no absolutely uh, and you know that uh syntax was built um based on on the uh feedback from the community uh since day one um like you said uh you know i, th I think it was the the right path um you know i, I would uh build uh you know whatever tools on parts of the marketplace that i you know the way that i envision them and then uh the day after uh yeah people from the community would come back and say hey i don't like it this way why don't we do it this way you know i will i will I would always listen to them and and you know the end result is months and months of uh the uh either a community's feedback and you know uh i like how it turned turned out Absolutely, the the bug reports help us a ton, a ton. Uh, go ahead, Ipex, because I know that you don't have a lot of time because your space is starting soon as well. I appreciate that, Patricia. Yeah, I, the more and more I hear about all of this, and um, I did want to jump in earlier, but I, I just really loved all the dialogue, and it's, it's just amazing to have this many amazing speakers contributing to the ecosystem and coming together. This is such a, a beautiful moment, beautiful time in Hedera after years and years of, of building here and, and networking and just seeing how the vibes went from all time lows in the in the summer of last year really to where we are now it makes me more bullish than ever on hbar but then also extremely bullish extremely bearish on my hbar bag because now i'm i'm seeing <laughs> I was seeing all these HTS tokens uh, filled with utility. I mean, if, if we're talking, so you can um, buy NFTs, right? Trade NFTs, what have you, with with Sauce or the the Earthlings tokens, right? Or all these other tokens, right? Groff and so on. As as the space goes on, and you don't own those, uh, are you telling me you could <laughs> transact tokens and then earn Centex? So you're earning basically two. <laughs> Absolutely. You're using, yeah, you're using, I just wanted to point that out, right? Like that's basically a given at this point, but it's wild to think, right? And, and you're not necessarily 
using HBAR, you're using the HBAR tokens, right? So it just makes me rethink my main uh, position in HBAR and, and move it more to HTS, which is a, a concerning <laughs> uh, dilemma in my, in my head because I am thinking of how many tokens are absolutely killing it in the ecosystem, right? Like, where is this all going to go um, on top of, of HBAR, right? So I'll leave it at that. Um, but it's been an amazing space, and uh, we're definitely going to break down a lot more uh, in the next one. Bullish. Hey, I just want to say something. That, that, that is a great point, uh, Ibex. And if you think about it, uh, once we have a few uh, fungible uh, markets live, I think people are going to want to hold multiple uh, HDS tokens. Why? Because, you know, there are times where you're going to have uh, a lot of different NFTs listed in, in one market, for example, the HR market. And then you're going to have a lot more uh, listed on, uh, I don't know, the source market or the uh, whatever, the Karachika uh, market. So each one of those are, uh, which is one of those is going to have its own floor price. Imagine, uh, you know, <laughs> if a token goes up or if it goes down, uh, you... <laughs> You probably want to have some of that in, in, in your wallet to be able to buy uh, bargains on, on other uh, fungible markets. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to probably incentivize people to just uh, have a, uh, a lot of different HTS tokens in their wallet. Absolutely. And even if they don't in the wallets, they can always go to Saucer Swap, do a quick uh, swap for the tokens. Or even inside of Ashpack, you also have the, the swap feature available. So it's going to be super fast because people will definitely uh, want to take advantage of uh, seeing an NFT listed on, on the swap uh, sauce or the Ralph marketplace or the Earthlings marketplace in the future when we open for more collections. And people will be able to see that uh, listed for a lower floor price. They will definitely want to be able to, to buy it right away. So even if they don't have the token, they will swap the tokens. And um, it's going to create a lot more uh, transaction for the network, like I was saying earlier. So it's going to be insane to be able to, to do this and you lines up this way. Ipex, go, go ahead. You need to start your space. I'm going to jump on your space when hours end, and I will talk about this on your space as well. Thank you for being here. Yes. All right. <laughs> Go Why ahead, Patrick. Go ahead. Yeah, just just uh, because I, I'm going to jump off then in a minute as well. Just want to say I can't wait. Uh, what things you guys uh, will be showing in the next year as well? Because um, uh, these uh, it's it's uh, same for for Hashback and Kabila. They always surprise with new stuff as well. And now you come with this, and I know you are always innovating. So I wonder what what's going on behind the screens uh, on what things you are building. So in a year. I would love to see um, to look back and see what else uh, you guys are building on the background because I'm I'm very sure that there's more tr uh, tricks uh, up your sleeve. <laughs> but I, I, I can confirm. I, I can confirm. We have so much on our sleeves that right now it's not only a sleeve; it's a full sweater. We just need to have time for everything. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Well, I uh, thank you so much for what you've done for us uh, to again. Uh, so this is of course a, a big milestone for what you have done, but uh, uh, giving us the chance to 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 feature this uh, together with you that that was really amazing. And thank you so much for uh, for doing uh, for, for doing this first test with it. And uh, well, what a great test it was. So. I I'm uh, going to leave you uh, guys with that. Thank you so much uh, for uh, again. And um, well, that, that's it, I guess. We couldn't be happier. Thank you for passing by, Pat. Absolutely, Patrick. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. And guys, I'm going to talk a bit now because uh, what Milan was saying earlier about the fact that um, so Earthlings needed to uh, list a lot of NFTs, right? So um, Sam said, okay, let me work a bit on this. And I believe it took uh, two days or maybe not even two days. And uh, Sam came up with a quantum batch listing. And quantum batch listing, why? Because you can list an insane amount of NFTs at the same time. And... Um, you just do one action, you list my trades or you list everything at the same price, it doesn't matter, you decide and 
you click uh, approve and you can list 2,000, 3,000 NFTs at the same time. And this is really useful for um, collections that come from other um, networks as well. Because, for example, on Ethereum, you don't have the concept of a launch pad. Uh, people mint uh, the NFTs via smart contracts and then they launch directly on a marketplace. So we are, um, right now, we can give those creators that opportunity as well without having to use um, a launch pad because they are not used to that. So they can um, mint the NFT on Ether as if they would do it on any other network, then come to, um, to our marketplace, use the quantum batch listing feature, and they can list an entire collection of 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 NFTs at the same time and sell via the marketplace to their users. So this opens the door to a lot more possibilities than before when with bulk listing you could list uh, 100 and 150 NFTs at a time. But now it's that, but uh, 10x on that. So it's even crazier. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely amazing, um, um, Patricia. And um, can you guys hear me? Because it says I'm, I'm on I mute. Can, yeah, loud and clear. But yes. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, go PC team. Uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, that's that's it's really really cool. I imagine you know I remember Sue saying, "Hey, how do I list uh, like many at a time?" And uh, oh, let me create that. Um, and, and also, I, I wanted to jump on something what Solo Solo Gang mentioned. You know, first of all, so I hope you you get well soon. I know it's it's I haven't never had ex experienced it with the dent. You know that you had a uh, that I needed a root um, treatment, but uh, yeah. Um, get well soon um it's not a pleasant um experience from what i've heard and and you mentioned also about the backpacks which is pretty funny because you know i was i was previously just using zoos as many here um and not not very active i'm not a very active nft um trader um but i did use zoos and then you know i was like those backpacks it's kind of funny of the earthlings team right we of the earthlings team um we're not allowed. We don't allow ourselves to uh, to buy anything um, before it's known. So um, you just that's just normal, like to avoid any inside training. So we are all we're all very keen always. You know, when the announcement is out, to also buy our own stuff, <laughs> which is kind of like pretty cool that you as a team, you know, you trust so much in your own product that you're buying it yourself. Um, and so, so, so basically, when uh, was when those backpacks were out, and we said, "Hey, uh, you can buy them. Uh, no, you can trade them in." You now I was like, "Okay, now I can. Now I can. I can. You can trade them in for upgrades." Then I thought, "Oh yeah, then I can. I can. I can buy these these backpacks from Earthlings." And you know, <laughs> she was like, "Oh, I have to buy them one by one. I was so annoyed." And then I was like, with with um, with with Sentient X, I I went to your marketplace. It's kind of like the first time that I really really used it. I was like, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> At first, it was like it was a little bit complicated navigating, but then like very easy to understand. And also, I believe you, you created an option to have like you have a pro version and a more simple version. Um, but then like being able to buy all these in, in batches and uh, that was really mind blowing, and basically, um, you know, I was sold right at that moment, you know. So uh, yeah, very cool. Absolutely, bulk actions is one of the tools that Sam added that I'm personally the most proud of because it's so much easier for people that uh, want to buy a lot of NFTs or want to sell a lot of NFTs. Um, we, we had a milestone a couple of weeks ago or last week because time flies and sometimes I, I lose track of time. But a couple of weeks ago or last week, we had a milestone where someone sold 490 NFTs at once to several buyers. And this is just insane. Uh, the amount of transactions that you can do with bulk actions, it's so freeing for the entire ecosystem and you don't see this everywhere else so it's amazing bulk actions for me are definitely uh, one of the tools that i'm most proud for them having built and integrated on syntax 